So up until now, we've been querying our uh, Google Analytics sample, the public data set, and we've been writing a basic select from where query, pulling some columns, channel grouping, visits, transactions from uh, this table, the uh, BigQuery public data, GA sample table, uh, querying out just organic search and direct traffic with a where filter. Um, and then we've been ordering it by transaction revenue. Um, the limit, you know, again, you're just limiting your results to 1,000, not really that relevant. But so this is a basic SQL query um, in BigQuery. But what if we want to do some math? What if we want to sum up the visits, transactions, revenue by channel? What if we want to pull out like the max transactions um, for any user or whatever it is? We're, you know, at some point, you're going to want to do math on this. Google Analytics sample data set. And the way to do that is you can basically use a number of different functions. So let's say um, sum here. You can use sum, you can use, let's zoom in a little bit. You can use max, you can write min, um, you can do an average, you can do a count. We could say count distinct here. Um, so you can use a, a number of different functions, and these are all in the, um, you know, the BigQuery docs. Let's just do a simple sum here, um, and you'll see that basically, you know, like the math functionality of SQL behaves more or less as it would in a Google Sheet. So if you can use Google Sheets and if statements and and doing counting and summing there, you can do the same thing in um, in SQL. So the first thing you need to do if you want to do aggregate metrics like that is uh, add your sum or whatever your math expression is around each of your columns. And then I'm just renaming um, renaming each of these. Let's just call this revenue for simplicity. So you can have you can write the as just for clarity, um, but you also can just leave, not just write a name after it and that'll also rename it. Um, so we'll keep everything about this query except we're going to change uh, this to order by transactions or order by so the the parameter that we want to add there is group by and we want to group by all the columns that aren't getting aggregated so date and channel so we want to group by date and channel um, and that's really it the important thing to note here is that group by will go before your order by. So this order of our parameters, select from where group by order by limit, that will always be the same. So you can just remember the, you know, the order that these should go in and stick to that. Um, it may, you know, I haven't played around with whether you can reorder things in BigQuery because I, I just, you know, that's, this is just the proper syntax for SQL. Okay, cool. So you can see our results here. We have, instead of having a bunch of different rows, now we only have two rows, one for each of our groupings. So one for each channel, organic search and direct, that we're, we're pulling out. And we have for this day, the sum of visits, the sum of transactions, and the sum of revenue. Um, now, what if we wanted to do something like a conversion rate or an average order value off of these? Um, that would require doing some some division, which we can also do within this context of, of summed metrics. Um, let's do that. I'll do that in, a, in another video right now because it's a little bit complex and, and people might want to look at that separately. But for for these purposes, you know, we could we could use any functions here. Um, right. So min revenue or max visits. And these would be like on a hit level. So these are probably going to be yeah, one max visits. So all that is to say, you can use really any functions here. Um, sum, max, min, count, whatever it is. Um, yeah, that's the world is your oyster when it comes to uh, calculated metrics like that.